Hey there, it's David Purdue. I uh, hope you can hear me, and I hope everything is. Uh, the, yeah, it looks like the uh, the microphone's working fine, and I wanted you to be able to see what we're going to do. This is going to take like 15 or 20 minutes, I think, just to show you basically what uh, what's happening here with Webinar Jam. Now, I'm going to do a quick screen, screen screenshot to show you what the difference is. You add an app. And let me uh, do a screen share so I can show you this. I made a great picture of myself with my mouth open, but that's all right. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, screen share here is... This one, and where is that? Is this. Okay. So here's what the new app looks like in... Webinar Jam when you get into into uh, Hangouts on Air, and you'll notice <clears throat> you can see over here in this area it's hard to see because this is not very big, and I can't make that bigger. But you can see here is a new sidebar app, and it is a you can display a um, sticky message, and you can have chat in here as well from people. So I've clicked on the chat box, and it shows I'm enabling chat. Uh, in that and people can actually chat straight in here. So we will actually get rid of probably uh, the chat role that we use. Now I'm going to go back to um, to our main view here. Just one second. Okay, let me get rid of that picture and bring you into Webinar Jam so you can see what we've got. Now let me get over here to there to Webinar Jam, and this is it. It is very simple. I'm really impressed with how this is working so far. So what I've done, you can see these are the webinars that I have created, and one of them is a um, recurring webinar. That is our um, Insiders Club Hangout. Uh, here, this is the Webinar Jam demo, and I'm going to create a, a webinar quickly. Uh, just show you basically how to edit the webinar and uh, and go through. You notice here I've got uh, 07 March 2014 at noon. I actually meant for that to be 08. So it's very easy to change it. I'm just going to show you the edit action here. You've got edit, clone, or delete. Clone is awesome because you can just clone one of these as you, once you get it set up and just change the basics to it and away you go. Um, so I'm going to do edit on that. The very first tab here, you can see we have a very simplified um, navigation system over here. It's my webinars, new webinar, and analytics. The tab in here, you have to go through each of these in order to create a new webinar. There's a very short video right here that shows you how to do that. So I'm going to click on general. This is the Insiders Club that I showed you. Here is the one that I've created below by scheduling these. Right, see, my options are right now or schedule it for later. And what I did was choose the wrong date. So I'm just going to click that. The calendar comes up, and I was going to do that on Saturday. So that's all I have to do is click on Saturday, click out of it. And now it is fixed for Saturday at noon Central Time. I chose my time zone here for noon Central Time. And then I just save it down here and save that module. Okay, It tells me up here at the top that the module has been saved, but it doesn't go to anything else. So I'm going to create one from scratch just to show you quickly um, how we do this. And there's some other stuff you'll find out when you go through this, like when you edit one, you have to publish it again at the bottom. But, we'll, but that'll, that'll come up as I edit and create a, a new webinar. So I'm just going to create a test webinar quickly. I go to general. I'm going to type in what this is. Test. 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 And I'm going to schedule it for later. Choose my date. Say it's going to be Saturday at 535 is perfect. We'll just go with that. Select time zone. Central. Now, if I wanted to add another session, I wanted to do one on Sunday, let's say. I just choose Sunday. I can change my time. I can select a different time zone if I want. 
and now I have recurring, wait, where is it? Now I have recurring webinars set up in my, um, for this, for this opportunity. So what I could do is actually set up the, uh, so what do you do, uh, NAMS edition mastermind session right here, right fast. So I will be doing that, and I will send a link, a pop, put a link to all of those in the system when we're uh, when we're ready for it, uh, probably in the next day or so, so that you can get scheduled on your calendar for the rest of them. So you change your photo, you add your picture here, you give yourself um, your name, uh, David Purdue. I put in my admin Gmail address. Okay, David at my name. So this is the one that my YouTube account is hooked up to, right? So it says this is the Google account this presenter must use in order to log into the webinar room. Also, it will be the YouTube account the webinar replay video will be uploaded to. So if you have multiple accounts, multiple YouTubes, you want to make sure you're in the right one. Admin will be an active speaker. So I'm going to be an active speaker. I can add another admin or co-presenter if I want to here as well. Save that module. Done. Then I can um, come up to the template. I can see the template that I want to use. I can load a different template here by clicking these arrows and going back and forth and seeing which template I want to use. I'm just going to leave that the way it is and save the module. You can also preview it, by the way. Now I would click pay to register. Is this a free webinar or is it a charge webinar? If I click charge, it's going to ask me how much. It's going to want to know where the payment checkout. It's all very simple here. You can create a webinar funnel right in this package. But I'm going to do free for this one. Notifications. Activate email reminder notifications. You can use your own email system or the webinar jam system. I'm using the built-in system. Uh, I'm going to send a welcome email, so it opens up a template here, which is really nice. I can dump this stuff and say, welcome to the test. And then I would say, I want to grab a test here and the webinar, the test webinar up here. It's confirmation that you have just registered to the test webinar. Go to the webinar room there. Um, and last minute email starting soon. I can also put a subject line in here. Test starting soon. And I can change the type here again. And then I can even do a pre-webinar notification email. Uh, I can send this out two hours, five hours. I can add as many of these as I want if it's a, if it's a couple of days or a couple of weeks out. Uh, and I can do a, um, I can queue another one there, or I can do a post webinar notification email. And with this, I can actually send it several hours after. Watch the recorded replay. So that's already embedded in there. Your replay link is already embedded in there. And since this is YouTube, it will send them directly to the YouTube. And I can do another post webinar reminder, maybe a few days later, um, especially if it is a time sensitive thing. So let's see, I'm coming back up here to. Get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to save this module, and I can actually, uh, if I require them to input their phone in addition to their uh, email address, it will send them an, a, a SMS message. So that's kind of cool. Okay, now we come to integrations. I can integrate with my autoresponder. And it has, let's see, what other ones? It looks like just autoresponder companies right now. Although Infusionsoft is obviously, and MailChimp, those are much more than just autoresponders. But I'm not going to add any integration to that. Save that module. Thank you, page. Where am I going to take them? I can display a custom video. Or I can display a text message. Um, and I'm just going to leave it with the, uh, the standard thank yous page. And we can add a countdown to this. And we can display a custom video here with a countdown, or we can just leave it with a countdown. Now, the countdown will obviously do a, uh, let's just see what it looks like. Click on the preview. It's loading a little slow. Oh, I have to save it, I guess, before we do a preview. Okay. Save the module. 
Now let's see if it'll do a preview. Yeah, I'm not doing that right. Maybe it needs to go all the way to the end and save the entire thing. But the next thing is the live pre-configure your webinar offers. So you can have pre-configured offers that will pop up in the windows on the fly, or you can enable pre-recorded video presentations. So if you've got something on YouTube that you want to show, you can pop that in there as well. And you can display social media buttons here. And I'm going to click that, click that, um, and then save the module. Then we do a replay. We can set up the uh, replay to only the users, or we can make it to uh, everyone. So the actual re replay of the recorded live session, a pre-recorded video of your choice. So we don't even have to send them to the replay, the actual replay. If we have one that we've re-recorded um, that was maybe a more professional version instead of the live version, we can send them to that. Or we can redirect everybody to a sales page or whatever you want there. So it doesn't have to go to the actual replay. The replay expiration, you can set this in here to expire however many hours you want after the replay is up. So it can expire even. You can't do that with Google Hangouts now, obviously. Okay, so we're going to save that module. Oh, question box. Display the question box uh, on the replay, and you could actually put your support desk in here, and uh, any questions would go to your support desk so you can interact with those people. The display a fixed offer. If you have an offer that will display throughout the uh, replay, it can display the entire time at the bottom or wherever it's going to put it um, in the offer. So it's got an offer title, offer image, message above the offer button, uh, add to cart, or download now, sign up today, check it out. There's a lot of options here. This is pretty cool. So you can delay the offer so that it uh, so that it only shows up at a certain point in the uh, presentation as well with this timer. That's a very nice feature. And again, the social media buttons on the replay. Okay, so let me get rid of some of these and save the module. Okay, we're coming to the end. Miscellaneous, if you want to insert your affiliate link here, you can do that. And the important part here is that you only put your ID, your affiliate ID. Mine is David Purdue. And then you would save that module. And next, you would publish the webinar. You've done all of this, now you're going to publish the webinar. Nothing happens until the webinar is published. So you follow this first, you publish the webinar. And you can see it's publishing actively at the top up here. It says it's done. Now you send the email links to the admins. Okay, and I'm doing that, and it's done that. Now that's going to show up in my Gmail in one second here, and I'm going to go to that. Yep. Let's see. I've got a new message. And this is what I just set up for um, the following webinar, which is test, test. don't know if you can see that, or can I make that bigger? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to click on my expand button there, and it says, yes, I can be a moderator, a presenter, or a moderator. So I'm going to click that button, and it will automatically take me to a thank you page. But this is great so that when you send it uh, to a moderator or someone that you've got a positive confirmation that they got your email and they have clicked on that button and have accepted the responsibility of being a moderator. So when you click on that, you get a thank you page that you can add it to your Google Calendar or you can add it to an iCal uh, Outlook calendar and it gives you the details here. And if you're an admin, it gives you your unique admin link right there. So that will be your link that you can always save this page and go back to. Or when you add it to your calendar, and I'm adding it to Google Calendar, it brings your link over into your Google Calendar description. So that link that you need is right there. Okay. Very cool. Let's see, what else do I want to tell you about Webinar Jam? I'm using it right now. I used it to start this one. So um, I'll have some analytics when I get over here. Where is my Webinar Jam? Here it is. So I will have analytics when I'm ready to start looking at 
some of my webinars. It gives me display uh, the uh, the analytics for not only viewers and traffic uh, and all of that, but it also gives me this is the webinar jam demo. Let's see if it gives me any analytics. Yeah, look. So right now live on this webinar, you can see that I just threw this up six minutes before um, I started this webinar. We had six people join us from the two groups in Facebook that I posted in, three registrations and three live attendees. So that tells me that three registrations, uh, three people registered and three people came from the uh, the live on on uh, Google Hangouts. Um, and it shows you the sign up rate, the show up rate, and it also, this is the really cool part, if you're selling something, it shows you the registration fees. Um, if you're doing registration for pay, shows you the number of sales you made if you were selling through this product, gross revenue, sales conversion, earnings per click, and earnings per attendee. That's pretty awesome. You can also download the registrations list so you can reach back out to those people if you want to separately or call them if you collected phone numbers or whatever it was. So I'm tickled to death with Webinar Jam. I just think this is going to be an awesome little tool. Uh, I watched a couple of other people's webinars who had done it with Webinar Jam and they seemed very slick. So uh, that's it. That's the demonstration for Webinar Jam. Now, um, if you want to purchase this, it is going to be a very special price. There is a very special price for Webinar Jam for the next couple of days. Go to nams.ws forward slash web jam. nams.ws forward slash web jam. W-E-B-J-A-M. nams.ws forward slash web jam. There you go. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this.